Hi, and you're watching Events to Watch with London Capital Group. Taking a closer look at the economic and corporate data releases scheduled for Thursday the 28th of May. Now, on the economic data front, coming out overnight will be Japan's retail trade and retail sales figures for April. Now, coming out at 9.30am will be the UK GDP figures for the first quarter, where an uptick to 0.4% from 0.3% is currently expected by the market, so the sterling will be closely watched here. Now, soon after, we have Eurozone economic confidence data for May, and the market is expecting a figure of 103.5. Now at 1.30 p.m. BST, we can expect the release of the U.S. initial jobless claims, and that's for the week ending May the 23rd. Now weekly claims are expected to decline to 263,000 from 274,000 last week. Finally, on the economic calendar in terms of major events, we have U.S. pending home sales for April month on month, and that's out at 3 p.m. Now the rate is expected to slow to 0.9% from 1.1%, so the markets to watch for both of these data releases will be US indices and US dollar crosses. In terms of corporate data, all scheduled for release at 7am BST, we have full year results from sugar producer Tate and Lyle, as well as payment services company Paypoint and Infinite Energy. Now also out tomorrow, spread betting and CFD trading provider IG Group Holdings will be issuing a pre-closed trading update, and that's alongside DIY retailer and B&Q owner Kingfisher, which will give a detailed trading update on its first quarter. Now jewelry retailer Signet Jewelers will announce their first quarter earnings, as will US clothing firm Abercrombie and Fitch. Now that's all in terms of the important events and data releases scheduled for Thursday. Join myself and the analyst team tomorrow morning, but for now, goodbye.